free your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon this one to be your helper and her guide. Give her the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill her with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Georgianity Seal. And peace be with you. The second sacrament that we receive is one that you all know very well, the greatest of all sacraments, which is the Eucharist. We're going to prepare to receive the Eucharist. Again, I'm going to break this for you for I think it easier after, okay? Lord our God, we ask that you feed your daughter with the bread of life, so that she will know that you live within her and will always be with her. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Okay. Sir Jan. Behold the Lamb of God, who pulls in who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And congratulations, you are her sponsor and confirmation. That means whenever you need to help, she's going to be there, right? Okay. Actually, in a way, all of them are your sponsors. They're all I just want you to take a moment to receive Do you need some water to help you? Ah, no, that's just the water. No, she is sponsor now. Bill? All right. Oh, I'm sorry. See, See, you already got your work. <laughs> right, right. 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 And now let me have some <laughs> no, You're ahead. beautiful, Mom. Stay still. Lord God, you have come to your daughter today and you filled her with your love. Strengthen her as she always knows your goodness and your peace. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's join together now in the hour of time. Hour of time. Hour of time. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The groom, please go and stand. Go to the back of the bus. Okay, and then we need the best man. Ready? Whoever the best Skipper. man is. Skipper. Yeah. Yeah. Skipper. Skipper. We do the best we could find. Skipper. Be a lot of Yeah. I'll go get him. I'm just getting him, baby. Okay. Yeah, he's upstairs. All right. Oh, that's all right. This is good. Um, well, when he gets down, he'll be down. Oh, he'll be down, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he'll be back there. You could be another witness, too, but there'll be the two witnesses I have to write down. I have to have their Where's full name. Where's he from? Here he comes. Come on, baby. Well, we did a good job doing it. <laughs> you can just be in the wedding party for now. <laughs> Now, the sacrament of marriage is a sacrament that unites together two people who, deep, who deeply love each other. What they promise to each other is that for always, everybody, they will support and love each other by the goodness of their lives, by the way they try and help each other to be the best people they can be, by the way they teach each other. So very much, it's back and forth how much God loves them. And I know, you guys all agree with me, that this couple certainly has that willingness to support and to take care of each other. So it's a real honor for us to do this.
My dear friends, you're gathering together in this house so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the minister of the church and this community gathered. Christ already blesses your love. He's already consecrated you in baptism. And he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament today so that you may assume the duties of marriage in a mutual and lasting fidelity. So in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Please respond with the words, um, uh, yes, to each of these questions, okay? No, that's not uh, uh, and George Ann, have you come here freely without reservations to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Mom? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thought about that for a moment. <laughs> 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 all of your lives. <laughs> 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 yes. Will you, will you in all that you do, try to assist each other to draw closer to Christ? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, I ask you to join your hands and declare your consent before God and His church. Daniel Dykes, would you prefer to read? It's so hard for me calling you that. Um, would you prefer to repeat it after me or would you prefer to answer the word I do? Do you want to repeat what he says or do you want to, you want to do the I do? Okay, we'll do it that way. Daniel, do you take George Ann to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health? Will you love her and honor her all the days of your life? I do. God is doing, no one can divide. And may, may God bless you with his love now and always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is what they call a nuptial blessing. It's a blessing for both of you. And I'm going to give you that blessing. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life, we humbly pray you for this woman, who today has been united with her husband in the sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing upon her, come upon her and her husband, so that they together may rejoice in your gift of married love. Lord, so may they be raise you when they are happy, and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their needs. May they pray to you in the communion of the church and be your witnesses in the world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Oh, the ring. Okay. Do you want to, but now it's time to change your ring. Do you want to take her ring? Let me bless the ring. Lord, let us consecrate these rings that you exchange with one another a sign of your love in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. I will take her ring first. And the daughter took the ring. And then let him put it. My daughter took it. Now hold it over her, her ring hand. She knows the ring hand, okay? <laughs> Oh, that was her engagement ring. Okay, if you want to so, so, just repeat after me as you do. Okay? I make this real easy to do. You just say, Georgian, take and wear this ring as a sign of my love, my faith in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And you want to try and put it on your <laughs> <laughs> oh, it fits perfectly. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, now you want to see. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 
Now you want to take